Welcome to Blue Ox, where innovation and efficiency meet to create the best towing products on the market. We're proud to introduce our new TTX paint line, a state-of-the-art addition to our manufacturing process that ensures each Blue Ox tow bar not only meets but exceeds industry standards. Join us as we take you through the process of creating the Avail tow bar, a prime example of our commitment to quality. The process begins with the programming of the tube laser. The tubes are fed into the machine. A tube laser cuts the tubes. These tubes will be the outside legs for the Avail tow bar. Robotic welders weld the Avail outside legs. The welding operator works outside of where the sparks are being made, so they're not exposed to the brightness of the welder while they are tacking up and fixturing the next round. The robot is doing all the welding on the backside of the cell. A pallet full of welded Avail legs is being moved to the paint facility so that they can be hung up and ready to make a trip through the paint system. Employees hang racks and prepare the toolbar legs for paint on these carts so that they can be slid into place and picked up by our AC system. Operators double check the settings on the paint system operating screen. A hoist scooters the parts to get cleaned. A multi-stage process where they're fully submerged from one tank to another. Parts will go through a rinse process to prevent cross-contamination. The cleanliness of the parts is the key to the adhesion of the paint. If the parts have any oil, dirt, or grime, the paint will not adhere to the metal. Once the parts are clean, they are offloaded back onto the autonomous carriers, where they will be taken over to the e-coat process. By fully submerging these parts, cleaners and rinses are getting inside and out of the product instead of just spraying soap onto the exterior of the product. Parts are lifted onto the hoist to go into the e-coat. The first step is an RO water rinse to double check that all the soaps and any of the cleaning processes have been rinsed off completely before they get dipped into the e-coat. Parts are dipped in the paint. Then, a high voltage is sent through the e-coat to bond the paint to the parts. The e-coat is rinsed again and goes through an oven to bake on the e-coat layer before a powder coat is applied. E-coat is an epoxy and is very corrosion resistant. It is not really UV resistant. That is why we apply a powder coat top finish. To help speed the process up, a paint technician touches up troublesome spots where the automated system may have missed. The powder coat system is self-contained, climate controlled, and repurposes all the unused powder, recirculating it back into virgin material with minimal waste. Parts are then returned to the bake oven. The ovens are set at about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The system uses a two-stage baking process, once for the e-coat and a second bake for the powder coat. As the finished parts come out, they go through another cooling tunnel. This allows the parts to be cool enough for employees to handle them as soon as they're out of the paint system. Employees offload them and send them to production as quickly as possible. Parts are then staged and ready for assembly. The outside legs are being assembled. The non-binding latches are being installed. The inside leg and rubber boot are being installed. As we reach the end of our tour, we at Blue Ox are confident that the introduction of the state-of-the-art TTX paint line has elevated the quality of our tow bars and all of our products, making them the most reliable products in the towing industry. Our dedication to excellence is evident in every step of our manufacturing process, ensuring that our customers receive nothing but the best. Thank you for joining us on this journey of precision and quality, from the first cut to the final shipping. This is how we make sure that Blue Ox remains synonymous with strength and reliability because at the end of the day, Towing doesn't have to be a drag.